Hello. Today I'm going to talk about using get, um, get metadata activity to get a list of files. Uh, so this is the Azure Data Factory and uh, first I'm going to create a new pipeline. Um, yeah, I'm going to create a new pipeline here and I'm going to go into the general. Under general there is a get metadata and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a list of these files and and then I'm gonna use a for each activity to uh, loop through those files, like the names of the files. So uh, because I have already got the connection set up, uh, the integration runtime points to my local computer, link services, um, link services also points to my folder here. And um, uh, if you don't know what the integration runtimes and what their link services are. I have videos, previous videos uh, that talked about them. I'm going to have my links in the uh, description area. You can take a look at the description area and go to see those videos first. Um, so now I need to create a, a data set that kind of represent those files. So because this is a file system, so I go to file system. And then I go here as uh, CSV files. So I can use CSV files. I don't have to use it for this purpose. I can use binary, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to use CSV files for this time. And give it a name. Data set CSV files, for example. Link services, the uh, uh, LS source. And I'm going to browse them. And um, I am going to. Um, I'm gonna choose the the uh, the folder. So just the just the directory itself. I'm not gonna choose the files. Um, and of course, the first row contains header. Um, and then I click on I click on OK. Double check everything looks looks fine. Right. And um, yeah. So by by uh, leaving this blank and basically saying getting everything uh, getting all of the files under the folder all right so so I have the data set configured already going back to pipeline I think I'll delete this thing that I didn't finish last time all right so I'm here and this is the get metadata and uh, now I need to configure it, go to dataset and select the, the dataset that I just created, the as CSV files. And then um, this, is the, this is the most important configuration um, of the metadata activity. So we got to click on it and then this is telling the get metadata activity about what kind of metadata I want to get it for this, for this pipeline. For this uh, get activity, get metadata activity under the pipeline, so I can I can get different informations. For example, I want to see whether files exist, right? Then you can select this. <clears throat> I want to see the last modified day, day time. Um, I can select this, but in this case, I want to get a list of the child items under the folder. So I select this, and then I come here. Double check again, and yeah, everything looks good. So when the pipeline runs, it's gonna go into this data set, uh, which points to a folder, and it's gonna get all of the child items. Uh, the the, the, the it's, it's an object that contains the child items, and what we'll see in in a minute how how it looks like. So. <clears throat> We can we can save it like this, and then we'll run it and we'll see what happens. It's taking its time. Okay, done. And now we can uh, debug it, and it's running, and let's get metadata is is running. It's in progress. Once it's done, we'll see the output. We'll take a look at the output and see uh, what's happening there, or what has happened there. Okay, done. Um, See the input is the data set, 
and uh, uh, field list it's a child items this is what we we want we want to see and output <coughs> we have three files customers orders and products so three files customers orders products and folder so um so yeah so how do we use it we can use it we can use it uh, by for example by using the for each and looping through those items for each activity and link them together and going to for each go to settings uh, click into the box and click on the add dynamic content and scroll down and go to met get metadata right but what um, but the output contains different things so we can say child items right because if we go to the pipeline output again it says child items here right so we can we can loop through that child items by using the for each activity <clears throat> and uh, the for each activity cannot be empty uh, i have a video uh, that talked about for each activity itself and uh, i'm going to include that link in the description area as well if you're not familiar with the for each, for each activity you can check out that uh, that video so i'm double clicking into the for each activity and um and i'm going to use uh, 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 a simple activity set variable and the set variable sets a variable from the pipeline so for that purpose i'm going back to the pipeline and declare a variable which is um file name <clears throat> and then i'm going back into the for each clicking on the set variables go to variable and select the file name this is the, the, the one this is the variable that i just created in the pipeline so i'm going over here and then and then here we're going to say item dot dot what Right, so this item represents the, uh, the 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 item that we are currently at, and they're the for each uh, activity. So because for each activity looping through the the array that it has, and the, the array that was fed into the for each activity is is the list of uh, the file, file uh, list of file objects. And because if we go back to the pipeline, and then because the output is uh, is an object, so this is object, and we're looking at the name, right? We want to look at the name. So going back into here, so here we want to say item. This item represents that whole object that contains the two properties. First is the name, second is the type. So we want to get the name. So, and this is what we do here. And then clicking on publish, waiting for it to be published, and then we'll run it and see what happens. All right, running it. Okay, it's done. And, and we see, check the, uh, check here. Okay, the file name is customer.csv and products.csv and slides and here orders. Okay, so that's it. That's how we use the metadata to get the list of files and how we use uh, use those files in a for each loop for each activity. Okay. Okay, that's the end of this video and hope it's very helpful. And if you like it, please give it a thumb up and please subscribe as well um, for my channel i'm gonna regularly up upload videos about different topics um, yeah hope, hope everything is helpful thank you